In our previous video, we covered the entire Phuket city tour, including a brief description of the Wat Chalong Temple, which also was a part of this tour. Wat Chalong Temple is a very special place due to its artistic beauty and its importance as the most sacred Buddhist temple of Phuket. In this video, we will take you on a detailed tour of the Wat Chalong Temple, the most important and revered Buddhist temple of Phuket. Wat Chalong Temple is located not too far from the Big Buddha statue, an iconic landmark of Phuket city. This temple has a 60 meter tall stupa with exquisite carvings all around the temple. It is said that a bone fragment of Lord Buddha is preserved inside the temple. We kept our shoes outside and climbed the few short steps to enter. Each and every corner was adorned with beautifully carved ornate designs in a combination of red and golden hues. The walls and ceilings of the temple are decorated with elegant paintings and each of these paintings depict tales from the most significant stages of Buddha's life. Inside the temple, one can find a variety of absolutely stunning golden Buddha statues. Most of these golden Buddhas were donated by the devotees. The interior looks magnificent with the strikingly beautiful golden Buddhas coupled with the elegantly made carvings and paintings. This temple looks grand both from interior and exterior. Buddhism is the most commonly practiced religion of Thailand with more than 95% of its population following it. Buddhism is believed to have come to this region during the reign of Emperor Ashoka. Thailand has the largest Buddhist population in the world after China and Japan. The Wat Chalong Temple consists of three levels. After spending some time at the ground level, we proceeded to the next level. Each floor is full of large golden Buddha statues. There are magnificent pillars with designs made in a combination of golden with different colors. There was an atmosphere of calm and tranquility inside this place. Buddhism is regarded as the most peaceful religion of the world as it stresses mainly on the importance of non-violence. After spending some time on the second level, we proceeded towards the terrace or the third level. Anybody will notice how elegantly everything is designed here and at the same time extremely well maintained. The teachings of Lord Buddha are aimed solely at liberating human beings from their sufferings by realizing the causes of their sufferings due to desire and attachments. The terrace of the temple offered a great view of the surrounding area. 
It was a bright sunny day with clear blue sky and greenery all around. There is a temple on the terrace and at the top of this temple is the stupa. People come here to offer their prayers. After a whole day city tour of Phuket, we came back to our resort in the evening. Later we went to the Patong night market to try out some local Thai delicacies. One of the major tourist attractions in Thailand is its street food in almost all major locations of the country. One can find a variety of crabs, meat, fishes, rice and noodles. You can choose an order and it will be cooked right in front and served to you within a few minutes. We had been at the Patong night market a day earlier where we tried some of the special Thai cuisines and today we are back again to try something new. Night markets here are very lively with travelers from all around the world as well as local people thronging the streets. We tried few of the items and packed most for our dinner. We walked back to our resort at Patong and post dinner retired for the night. The next day would be long and exciting as we would be setting out on an adventure into the Phang Na Bay. Check out our next video to join us on our adventure into the hidden caves and lagoons of Phang Na Bay.